Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the infinite control switch in a GE range. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a short Phillips screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new infinite control switch and the instructions. This infinite control switch operates the dual surface element, turning it on and off and changing heat intensity. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it breaks causing the element to stay only on high heat or not to come on at all. Make sure you are replacing the correct switch. Check the mark on the control panel. Next, we need to remove the two screws at the top back corners of the control panel. Using the quarter inch nut driver, take the screws out. Using the short Phillips screwdriver, take out two corner screws at the bottom of the front of the control panel and pull the knob off. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take the two mounting screws out. and remove the control panel. Here is the infinite switch we have to replace. Take a picture of how the wires are connected and then using the flat blade screwdriver remove the wires. This is the old infinite control switch next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Turn the shaft until it pops out. When installing the new switch, the sign top should be facing up. Install the wires on the new infinite switch. Refer to the picture you took earlier to avoid any mistakes. If the original switch looks different from the replacement switch, please read the instructions included in the package. Place the shaft through the opening in the control panel and secure the switch with the two Phillips screws. Install the control panel and secure it with the two quarter inch screws at the top rear. Install the knob. Install the bottom screws using the short Phillips screwdriver. Plug the wrench in and check if the switch works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.